Hey, what up? This is Talon TSI AWD from uh, ThirdStop.com. Um, today, I'm going to show you some commonly referred to as low end theory, which is basically taking a sample and filtering it using a low pass filter to make a baseline instead of actually hitting keys and making your own baseline. Um, some people say this is a little outdated since you have all the sounds to do it. I personally. Um, still listen to a lot of the music of the era where they really use this so I kind of like the sound when it works now just to start off it only really works when a sample has good low end to begin with if your sample doesn't really have low end this isn't gonna work and second of all once you get into chopping samples sometimes it doesn't work either I tend to chop almost everything I use so if you chop in small bits and pieces um sometimes you'll have bass notes in odd places so if it works with the sample it works i tend to to try this on a lot of stuff i do and just see if it works and most of the time i find myself more content actually making a bass line but when this works i actually tend to like it better than making my own bass line so i'm just gonna pretty much show you how how you do it and i've already made the beat so i'm just gonna show you basically how to recreate it now um in this song, the bass line comes in right before the beginning of the fifth bar. So I'm just going to play you it and show you what it sounds like. So for the first four bars, basically, there's going to be, it's just the original sample. And then all of a sudden the filtered bass will come in. So you'll be able to hear that. Now this is basically the the filter right there. Um, so anyways, you can hear it's kind of muddy. But once you put the uh, original sample over it, it kind of blends together again. And one thing I had to do because I chopped it was um, and you can hear it as I had to take out chops here and there that didn't have a uh, bass hit just because it made it sound real funny so you can hear big pauses here and there like right there that aren't in the original melody but I basically just copied the track and then took out notes as needed so I'm basically going to delete what I've already done and just redo it real quickly and um, so here's what we're starting with in terms of the bass. I have the bass soloed. Now obviously there's not too much bass there. That's what we're trying to get. So on this track I'm gonna first apply a low pass filter and in reason what I use is the M class stereo imager on the right side it says solo I want a solo low band which basically makes my low pass filter and I'm just gonna put it to the bottom at a hundred Hertz so now we'll play it now we're starting to get some of that bass but it's still not strong enough so we're gonna we're gonna EQ this a little bit so I'm just gonna create an in class equalizer um, if you use another program obviously it has different names but it's the same process and my low shelf gain I'm just gonna turn that up and then add a little bit of a peak right around 78 looks good for now I'm obviously would be a bit more of a perfectionist if uh, I was um, not just doing this for time's sake So now it's a little bit stronger. So now it's actually to the point where you're going to be able to hear it in the mix. So now I'm going to play it with it muted. Now I'm going to unmute it. So 
so obviously <clears throat> it doesn't really work um to make a really heavy heavy bass line but for something light like this it works pretty well so i'm just gonna again play the beginning four bars which don't have bass and then the bass is going to drop in and you'll get an idea of um how it's going to sound got a simple bass line right there like I said it doesn't always work it's pretty much trial and error but it's simple to do so if you just want to try it for fun try it out it only takes about uh, 20 seconds to get a basic idea of if it's gonna work and then you just fine-tune and tweak it and start um, you know EQing it right and if it works it works if not grab your keyboard and start playing a new bass line anyways um, if you want to get more of these tutorials or want to check out my forum, it's thirdstop.com, so definitely check that out. All right.